On-the-scene coverage of ACC 2015 is supported by Effian. I'm Peter Block in San Diego for ACC 2015 and for On the Scene. With me is Rajendra Kukru from India, and he's an ulnar guy rather than a radial guy. Uh, the whole question of ulnar versus radial, radial versus femoral, has now been tested in a trial, but this is an ulnar trial more than anything else. So, Rajendra, tell me about your trial to start with, and then we'll get into the results. Uh, our research shows that ulnar is non inferior to radial. Uh, ulnar expert can do the radial easily and if you have an ulnar excess then you have four forearm excesses so chances to shift to the femoral is reduced by 95 percent so i primarily prefer ulnar as the first route by def default and if failed then radial and in femoral is the last okay so tell me about your trial since you like the ulnar so much and you have lots of options so what is the trial about in our trial, we had 2,700 patients and uh, we found that all the mace, all major vascular complications were less than 5% and they, are, they were comparable with the radial one. Therefore, it's a non-inferior to radial and nobody is doing in general ulnar because of fear of vasospasm and the, it's uh, not so easily palpable because in the only small 3 centimeters in the forearm, uh, above the fluxor retinaculum, it is palpable and its palpability depends more on the position of the hand and in routine in a supine position of the hand we are not able to palpate but the moment you extend the wrist this is easily palpable and hardly two millimeters below the skin so it's a very easy access one if one expertized then it's very good so i will tell you uh, that we as i did earlier that we actually use the ulnar artery at emory and it is a for us actually a pretty easy way to do a catheterization. So you did not compare this to the femoral side, you just compared it directly ulnar versus radial. Yes. Were the bleeding complications exactly the same? Uh, bleeding complications are far less than femoral, but the radial and ulnar they are comparable, less than 5%, all major uh, vascular complications. And the other special complication the ulnar now is not at all. The ischemia of the hand not at all. In our term, as of today, I have completed more than 1500 cases. I have not seen ulnar nerve injury or any forehand ischemia. They are comparable. Okay, so the good news about the ulnar artery, as I see it from this trial, is that number one, you don't get any ischemia at all, at least in your experience. And it's equivalent to radial, it's a good way to get there. And the radial, because it's easily palpable, becomes an important clinical tool, doesn't it? Yes. And that is saved, so that's good news. Thank you. Thank you very much.